Let us touch base with Cross River State. The governor, Ben Ayade, has agreed to support the Association of National Accountants of Nigeria to establish the South-South region of the College of Accounting in Calabar, the Cross River State capital. The governor, who pledged his administration's resolve towards the success of the establishment in the state when he received the president of the association, Anthony Chukwemeka Nzom, and his delegation at the ex-co of the government house. He challenged the association to attack corruption and condemn it in its entirety by making sure that accountants are people with ethics, knowledge, and integrity. I believe that that has started very well. I didn't know you started this way back in 1972. But my great excitement actually is that you're almost participating in the process. But I have my own video request. I would just imagine, beyond the expansion of the opportunities that I have on the University of Canada, there could be a possibility for you to set up a full-fledged standalone accounting college in the cross of the It is one way that you truly classify the budget from my time that today you have an institute dedicated to the training the specialization in accounting profession. Cross of the state will partner with you and will support our finance. Cross River State Governor Ben Ayade. Finally, the Edo State Government says farmers in the state have been enlisted to benefit from government programs in agriculture, such as the Growth Enhancement Scheme, the GES. The Permanent Secretary, Edo State Ministry of Agriculture, Itoha Obayagwana, told Channels Television at a town hall meeting of the problems and possibilities of the agricultural sector in South-South Nigeria. The program facilitator, Barrister Richard Mark Mbaram, says the event is an opportunity for stakeholders to brainstorm on the way forward. Take a listen. A hall meeting on best practices to enhance the growth of the agricultural sector in South-South Nigeria at the Magweo College Hall in Benin City, the Edo State Capital, is well attended. As it is a stakeholders meeting involving the private and public sector as well as farmers and meant to proffer solutions to the challenges facing the industry, one after the other, the farmers bear their minds on the pertinent issues. There must be some type of agricultural system that must be our own within this zone. You need to spread your tentacles in all areas of farming. Make it The Edo State Government insists there are some policies already in place to boost agriculture. What we did was to create database for farmers in Edo State and we were able to cover up about 300,000 farmers and we were able to bring in about 180,000 fertilizers for majority of the farmers. And if you look at them today, they've been so comfortable and I think they are even ready to do more. And uh, with that in mind, that's why we went ahead to try to source for more land, for larger investment and larger opportunities. Facilitator of the session, Barrister Richard Mark Mbaram, says the program is designed to highlight the issues bordering farmers in the region. These are the biting issues. These are the realities. The man doesn't know how to access the f move from the farm gate to the farm uh, to to the market with his produce because the roads are bad. He cannot extend shelf life of his produce because there is actually no power. Because processing itself is 90% power based on power. You must produce electricity and be able to power the equipment that are processing for you to be able to make headway in it. The event was indeed another opportunity for the agricultural sector to thrive as farmers and relevant agencies keep exploring different avenues to improve agriculture in the country. Um. So we managed to go from the northwest to the northeast, down to the south-south-southwest, 
bringing you what's happening now in the geopolitical zones of the country and the 36 states of the Federation, edition by edition. Many thanks for your company. I'm Alumdi McCauley. See you again.